which are known as the foundations of religion, the roots of religion on which the religion has been built. And a person, slave of Allah, must hold on fast to this firm handle, which are these five pillars. الصلاه والزكاه the prayer and the giving of zakat tax فان الصلاه مقرونه بالزكاه we need as we know the prayer has been uh, affixed and associated with the zakat ولا تبلغ الصلاه فضيلتها ولا تبلغ كمالها الا ان تكون مع الزكات and the prayer will not reach its perfection and its completion and its wholesomeness except when coupled with the zakat. As the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, have said. And thereafter, the pilgrimage and the fasting. And our wilayah towards the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. These are the five pillars. That we it's obligatory for us and incumbent for us to hold on fast to them until the time of our death. All of these five pillars have been comprised within the remembrance of Allah. So the prayer, the summary of it is the remembrance of Allah. And the fasting, the summary of it is the remembrance of Allah. Similarly, for the other, all the other acts of worship, their summary and their core is the remembrance of Allah. Muhammad and Muhammad. Ali and Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, and Hussein, and they, all of the children, peace be upon them, all the summary and their core is the remembrance of Allah. And so whoever really brings forth the remembrance of Allah, they are the ones who, in fact, held up. And held and the remembrance of Allah is, is an incumbent prerequisite to all of these other five. So let us not be negligent of the remembrance of Allah, neither in the night time nor in our daytime. <coughs> and these Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, in whose footsteps we walk and whose path we follow, they are the ones who have advised us by their supplications, by their writings, by their narrations, and by all of their advices that towards the remembrance of Allah. <laughs> that was the master of all rememberers. Sayyid al-Mihrab, Imam al-Mihrab, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Who was the master of the prayer niche and the one who frequented the prayer niche, none other than Ali, peace be upon him. Ida janna alayhi al-layl ma'indahu illa dhikrillah. When the night befell him, he had no, nothing else except the remembrance of Allah. إذا جن عليه الليل نادى ربه. When the night came on to him, he called out to his Lord. نادى ربه والناس نيام. He called out to his Lord whilst the people were asleep. هو القائل. He is the one who said. لبست ثوب الرجا والناس قد رقدوا. That I have adorned myself with the garment of hope whilst the people are asleep. من قال هذا؟ Who is the one who said this? قال هذا سيد الذاكرين. The one who was the master of all members of Allah said. قال هذا علي بن أبي طالب. It was Ali the son of Abi Talib who said. قال هذا صاحب الصلاة والزكاة والحج والصيام وهو الولاية حقا وحقيقة. It is he who was the possessor and the holder of prayer and fasting and pilgrimage and he and zakat and he himself was the ولاية. يعلمنا في الليل كيف نذكر الله. 
He teaches us in the night how to remember Allah. يعلمنا في النهار كيف نذكر الله. He teaches us in the daytime how to remember Allah. ذكر الله مقدم على كل شيء. The remembrance of Allah is a prerequisite to everything. فما لنا نغفل. So what's wrong with us that we are? فما لنا ننشغل. What's wrong with us that we are otherwise preoccupied? ننشغل بأمور من هنا وهناك. We're preoccupied with other issues here and there. حتى عندما نريد نحيي تراث أهل البيت نغفل عن الله سبحانه. Even when we want to uphold the treasures and the heritage of the أهل البيت, we forget Allah. حتى عندما نريد نقيم الشعائر لأهل البيت عليهم السلام نغفل عن الله سبحانه. Even when we want to carry out the rites and the rituals of the Ahlul Bayt, we are oblivious of Allah. Allah, 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 who is the Zikr and the Mazkur and the Zakir? Allah, Allah, He is the Rememberer and the Remembrance and the Remembered. Allah Ta'ala, who is the one who remembers you on every situation in the world. And when you are in your presence and when you are in your presence, you are in the last place. Allah is the one who remembers you at every time in your life and then at the time of your death and then even after your death it is He who is watching over you. And it's not something of a merit that a person remembers Allah. But the entire life of a person is the remembrance of Allah. Neither is it or he doesn't shoot a person remember Allah only on their tongues. بل لا بد أن يكون الذكر يسري إلى الجنان. Rather, the remembrance should dwell in go inside into the heart. بل لا بد أن اليد تغبط اللسان على الذكر. And the hand should be the hand should be envious of the tongue in its remembrance. ذكر الله ليس على اللسان فقط. The remembrance of Allah is not only upon the tongue. A person remembers Allah upon their tongue and with their hand and with their foot and with their eye and with their ear and with every organ from amongst their all the other limbs. Until the remembrance of Allah intermingles with a person's flesh and blood. Do you not see that person who Imam cut off his hand? Do you not see that person who Imam cut off his hand? العبد الذي جاء إلى الإمام وهو سارق فقطع الإمام يده. The person who was a thief and so he came to the Imam and it was incumbent the Imam cut his hand. وأخذ يمينه بشماله. And he held his right hand in his own left hand. واستقبلوا الناس في الطريق قالوا من قطع يدك. And he was met with people on the street and he was asked, who is it that cut your hand? And he began to praise Ali ibn Abi Talib who had cut off his hand with the most beautiful and the most noble of all praises. He said to them, who wants you? Are you asking me about who has cut off my hand? قال وما لي لا أذني عليه وقد خالط حبه لحمي ودمي. How can it not be for me to praise such a person who, whilst the remembrance of Allah has intermingled with his flesh and blood. حب علي وأهل البيت يخالط لحمنا ودمنا. The love of the Ahlul Bayt has intermingled with our flesh and our blood. وذكر الله أكبر وأكبر من حبهم. Whilst the remembrance of Allah is far greater than the the love. We have for them. فإن الله سبحانه وتعالى قال في كتابه ذكر الله أكبر وهو أكبر من الصلاة. And Allah says in His holy book that the remembrance of Allah is the greatest thing, which is a prerequisite and more important than prayer. فنذكر الله حتى نذكر الله بأعضائنا بجميع أعضائنا حتى يخالط حب الله لحمنا ودمنا. So we remember Allah with all our limbs until. The remembrance of Allah intermingles with all of our flesh and blood. لا نترك الساعة التي نذكر الله فيها لتعب أو ملل أو لشغل أو انشغال. 
We should not leave any time free whereby we are forgetful of Allah and not remembering Him due to any other work we have or due to boredom or other preoccupations. بل لا نزال نتضرع ونبكي ونتوسل ونتحبب ونتملق إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى حتى يخالط ذكر الله لحمنا ودمنا. Rather we strive to remember Allah, strive to, with affection for Him and in His love, in all of this way up until that time whereby the His remembrance is intermingled with our flesh and blood. ونستشعر بهذا. And we feel affectionately towards it. And we are very sensitive towards it. And we grasp this and comprehend it with our hearts and our minds. And we grasp that such that we would find the, the signs of Allah manifesting within our own selves and our bodies the way we find them manifesting outwardly. فإن الله تعالى قال وصدق ما قال. وإن بيد الله السلام أن يسأل truthfully. ولا بد أن نصدق هذا لا اعتقادا فقط أن نصدق هذا علما وعملا. So we should believe in this and not just believe in it ideologically. Rather we believe in it with our knowledge and with our actions in accordance to that. قال فإنما تولوا فذم وجه الله. أينما تولوا فذم وجه الله. That he said, wherever you turn, you would see the visage of Allah. And Allah is truthful in what he has said. And so we should not leave this abode of the world until we have affirmed this and believed in it both in our knowledge and in terms of our action. And it's not the case that Allah in this prayer of ours أم نحن متفضلون في صيامنا في سنتنا؟ Neither are we doing some sort of meritorious thing by our fasting in the year. أم نحن من الأخيار إذا قمنا شعائر حسينية؟ Neither are we of the best of people when we uphold the rights of Imam Hussein, rights and rituals. أنمن على الله سبحانه وتعالى بكل هذا؟ Do we wish for Allah to be present in all of these things? وقلوبنا فارغة من ذكر الله. Whilst our hearts are empty of the remembrance of Allah. وألسنتنا يابسة من ذكر الله. And our tongues are dry due to the remembrance of Allah. مسامعنا لم يطرقها ذكر الله. And our ears, the remembrance of Allah has has not entered it yet. ثم ندعو الله سبحانه وتعالى بكل شيء. Then we call out to Allah with everything. ونحن لم نذكر الله على كل شيء. Whilst we don't remember Allah in everything. ندعو الله تعالى برحمته الواسعة. We call to Allah from His all encompassing mercy. ونحن لم يسعنا متر مربع لذكر الله. Whilst we don't go even a few meters in the remembrance of Allah. ندعو الله تعالى من رزقه وعطائه. We ask Allah for His sustenance and His gifts. ونحن لا تجود أنفسنا بشيء قليل لله سبحانه. Whilst our own souls do not have generosity to give anything away, even a bit in the way of Allah. سبحان الله، الله الغني. Glory be to Allah, Allah the self-sufficient. هذا هو في كتابه. This is that in his book. ينزل نفسه كأنه منزلة الفقير والمسكين. He descended himself, the book himself, as if giving to a poor person or a destitute person. فيوصف نفس بالصدقة. And he is described himself to be charitable. Allah Taala يأخذ الصدقة منك. Allah gives the charity from you. وهو الغني الحميد. He takes the charity from you as if he's taking the charity from you, whilst he himself is all self-sufficient. والرسول بعظمته مالك خزائن الأرض. And the holy messenger with his high, with his high station, as if he had the kingdom of all the treasures of the earth. يأخذ الصدق منك. Takes the charity from you. وحتى أهل البيت يأخذون الصدق منك. And even the أهل البيت they take charity from you. فإن الخمسة. We need the خمس. والفي. And this the other taxes. والأنفال. And the war booties. هذه كلها صدقات. They are all charities. والكرامة لأهل البيت. 
and the uh, nobility and the kindness of the Ahlul Bayt. These are all types of charity. All of those who are rich and self-sufficient. And Allah above them was more richer and self-sufficient. They take charity. <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ghani. And Allah is, is the richest. Wa ma'a ghanaihi ghana. Despite his uh, rich station. He mentioned that verse in his. Yanussu alayha fi kitabi al-aziz. He advises towards that verse in his holy book. Lakin nahnu min shahhati anfusina. However, due to our own covetous caprice and due to our own miserliness and due to our own obliviousness and due to our own arrogance and haughtiness and due to our own allegations and due to our own evil and whatever else we have. All of this is that which separates us away from the remembrance of Allah. So the remembrance of Allah the that is the prerequisite in the introduction to every state. If you remember Allah, Allah would remember you. If you remember Allah, Allah would remember you. If the name of Allah flows upon your tongue, then Allah would remember you. If in every state you undergo, you remember Allah. Allah Ta'ala is Allah who has advised us through the tongues of His apostles and His messengers. And through the, the tongues of his holy uh, vicegerents, Ahlul Bayt alayhum as-salam, who are the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. ولا تقبل خطوة يخطوها الإنسان. And there is no step that a person takes. بل لا تقبل ولا تصح خطوة يخطوها الإنسان. There is no step that a person can take in the right manner. إلا بمتابعة ومشايعة الرسول وأهل بيته. Except that they would be footsteps in the following of the Holy Messenger and his Ahlul Bayt. فهم الأدلاء على ذكر الله. And so they are the ones who have indicated towards the remembrance of Allah. هم السبيل إلى الله. They are the path to Allah. ولا يقبل علم ولا تقبل معرفة ولا يقبل عمل. There is no science which is acceptable. There is no action which can be accepted. من لم يسير على هذه الخطى أي خطى الرسول وأهل بيته. Except those footsteps which are taken and are taken in that path of the Holy Messenger and his Ahlul Bayt. وخير ما أوصانا الرسول وأهل البيت ذكر الله. And the best of what the Holy Messenger and the Ahlul Bayt have advised us is the remembrance of Allah. فنسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن نديم ذكره. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he allows us to forever remember him. And we ask him that he completes and perfects our intellects by his remembrance. And we ask Allah that he brightens our faces by his remembrance. نسأل الله تعالى أن يسلم قلوبنا بذكره. We pray to Allah that He makes our hearts sound by His remembrance. نسأل الله تعالى أن يزكي أنفسنا بذكره. And we pray to Allah that He purifies our souls by His remembrance. نسأل الله تعالى أن يثبت أقدامنا بذكره. We pray to Allah that He affirms our feet and fixes them on His remembrance. نسأل الله تعالى أن يتفضل علينا في الدنيا والآخرة بذكره. We pray to Allah that He bestows upon us in the world and the hereafter with His, with his remembrance. And we ask Allah that He bestows us for everything that we have asked Him for by way of His blessings due to His remembrance. <laughs> And we ask Allah that He bestows upon us that which we have not asked Him for, because indeed He is more insightful about ourselves than we are our, on ourselves, that He should give us this by the blessing of His remembrance. Allahumma stajib. Oh Allah, oh Allah, respond to us, to us. Fi hadhi al In this hour. Wa fi kulli sa'a. And at all times. Allahumma stajib liman aqbala alayka bi qalbi. 
Oh Allah, uh, respond to the one who approaches you with his heart. Allahumma istajib liman naza'a nafsahu wa shurura nafsi wa istama'a ila fadli wa izzati kalami. Oh Allah, respond to that one who has extracted from himself the evil so that he listens to the best of words. Allahumma arham man halat baynahu wa bayna dhikrika nafsu wa su'iha. Oh Allah, be merciful on that one who between him and his own soul he remembers you. Nisa Allah ta'ala lana wa lakum al tawfiq wa sadaad wa al-hidayah. We ask Allah on our behalf and on your behalf for assistance and success and guidance. <laughs> and Allah says the truth and He is the one who guides to the path. And we'll end with the dua.